video, I will be going through my straight hair routine. Um, so the hair that I'm displaying today is actually a couple of days old. I went ahead and curled it up a little bit um, so that it looks decent. Um, but I think I'm going on day four and it still looks okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through how I straighten my hair um, and a couple of the tools that I feel set my straight hair routine apart. Thank you again for, for coming and I hope that you learn a couple things um, that maybe you didn't know before. All right, enjoy. just got done um, deep conditioning my hair. My hair is full of conditioner right now. Um, I have a reconstructor in as well as a deep conditioner. <sighs> okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have really interesting hair. Um, there's no like hair pearls here, but then in here it's just not. I love my hair, like don't get me wrong, but you know, I had to learn, learn to love it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a leave-in conditioner in. Um, I like this one. It's a OG one. I really like it because it's a really great detangler, but it's also really light. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of like go like this. Let me part my hair. Oh, this makes my hair so freaking shiny. I get comments on my hair whenever I use this, um, like all day, at least on the first day, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna spray this on, it's so light, and it smells really good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put my blow dry spray on. Um, so I use this one. It was recommended by the Glam Twins and I love them. <laughs> um, and I like it again because all about efficiency, it's supposed to um, speed up the dry time. I think it does. It says it's supposed to dramatically reduce glow dry time up to 50% and it uh, provides intense heat protection. make my experience like as similar to the salon as possible so my hairdresser by the way I haven't been to my hairdresser in like two and a half years sorry Korea <laughs> um I have just been trying to like save money on my hair and I've been learning how to like do it myself so I just haven't been back in a really long time I, I trim my own hair and all of that but anyways if I were at my hairdresser um, at her salon, she would put me under the dryer for a little bit so that when she actually blow dries it, she doesn't have to blow dry it for as long. So it's like healthier for your hair. So I'm gonna do that. So let's see, I'm just gonna kind of like loosely put this up and then go sit under the dryer for like maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll be back. Alright, hey guys, I'm back from being under, ooh, it's soft, um, from under the dryer. I just sat under it again after I applied all of my um, products to prep it for straightening. Um, I just went back under the dryer um, a little bit so that when I do blow dry it, I don't have to blow dry so much. So just looking out for the health of my hair. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and part my hair. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Ooh, look at all this hair. I think I like this. I feel very Solange. Hey. Mm. Okay. <sighs> 
Hey, so I'm showing you my very expensive blow dryer. It's a Parlux 385. It's really, really good, so definitely worth the money. I think it's an Italian brand. All right, so now that my hair is properly blow dried, I'm just parting it down the middle and um, prepping it for straightening. I'm going to put half of my hair away while I work on one side. Okay, so this is one of the tools that I mentioned earlier that really sets my um, routine apart. It is a pretty inexpensive hair straightening brush from Amazon. I think it's called Miro Pure. I'll put the details in the description box, but what I do is I go through my hair concentrating on the roots uh, first. So I kind of do like a first pass through all of my hair with the brush and then I go in um, with a flat iron. And so the reason why I do that is because it's a lot easier on my wrist. I don't have to put the um, flat iron um, on my hair for quite as long. Um, and then also it's just easier. Like it is a lot less stress on your wrist and it's way, way faster. So um, this is something that I added recently that I definitely would not change. Oh, and then here, um, I forgot to mention, I do use chi, um, but I made the mistake one time and I never made it again. Um, I put the chi from the roots down to the ends and it made my hair so greasy. So now I just concentrate the chi on my end so that my hair stays bouncy and flexible. Um, so now that I've already gone through with the hair straightening brush, I'm going through um, with my Sudo flat iron. And the idea is that um, I only have to do one pass, but obviously you'll see um, that sometimes I do a little bit more because I am a perfectionist. Uh, don't worry, my hair is still healthy. Okay, so sorry for being dramatic, but um, this brush is everything. So it's actually a tension brush by Warren Tricomi. I learned about it a couple years ago through another YouTuber, Brittany Gray, who I also love. Um, I know everyone does the chase method, um, which does create some tension, but because this brush has boar bristles and it's dual sided and it clamps down on your hair just like a flat iron would, it actually makes for a much, much, much straighter um, flat iron flat ironing job, I guess you could say, um, which is really clutch when you're doing your hair yourself, um, just because you're in weird angles and it's just hard to get that tension, especially in the back of your head. This is an amazing brush. You can search for it on Amazon. I don't know if they still sell it, but if they do, uh, you should, I definitely recommend that you get your hands on one. Hey, and just small disclaimer, that smoke, quote unquote smoke that you see, it's actually just the oil um, that I use, the product that I put on my hair. Don't worry, my hair is not burning away. Um, I have very healthy hair um, and yeah, everything's okay. Just everybody calm down, it's fine. <laughs>
Woohoo! So we made it to the end. Um, so I'm looking like Cousin Knit here. My bangs are really, really long. So I actually went ahead and um, trimmed or cut in face framing layers in a different video. So um, I, it probably won't be up just yet, but um, that's another video to look forward to watching of mine. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. This is my straight hair routine. I hope you learned um, a few things here and there that you didn't know before. And yes, please do come again and make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you like this content. Thank you. Bye.